Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I just got back from a quick Target run where I had to pick up a couple things. One is a cookie jar because today is baking day and I needed some whole wheat flour, I needed a sifter, I needed a pastry brush. I got this for the bathroom because I thought it was really funny. Remember to flush. And then I ended up having to buy new measuring cups. I love the OXO ones, but when I went to scoop the other day, this is what happened. It bent, so I replaced my measuring cups with some from Hearth and Hand. And then I also got this cookie jar that I'm really excited about, but I hate the silver lid. So I brought up some cardboard boxes and we're gonna hop outside real quick and give it a coat of spray paint, matte black. We are starting the Great Bake Off today. Pardon all the noise. Right now I have two sticks of butter and I'm gonna put two eggs in here and I'm gonna get this combined. I'm gonna cheat a little bit today. So I have some softened butter and egg and I kind of combined it. And I wanna do like a monster type cookie that my mom used to make. So I got the oatmeal chocolate chip cookie mix. And then we're just gonna add a couple things to jazz it up. Cause I wanna keep some of the cookies rather simple. So we're gonna do two of those. And now I'm just gonna combine all those ingredients. I'm also going to throw in some pretzel. Probably like a cup. I'm also gonna throw in some holiday M&Ms. It also can't be a monster cookie without some peanut butter. So I'm gonna add just two big spoonfuls of peanut butter into this concoction. And I have these perfect cookie sill pats that I really love. I just find using my hands is so much easier. So these will spread, but I'm gonna keep them pretty small. And what's great about these pre-made sill pats, I can actually keep them really pretty uniform. Okay, the first batch is out and they are like beautifully like golden brown. I like the tops to be a little bit lighter in color because I like them to still stay really soft on the inside. Uh, but the bottom will have like a really nice crunch to it once it cools. We have a little women playing. It is like a whole festive day. Steven doesn't have to work a whole bunch today. He has some things he has to get done, but this could be a wonderful, wonderful day. So I'm gonna have to get out my mixing bowl, but I'll tell you what I have in here. So it is two and a half cups of shredded coconut. I use this organic unsweetened sugar, um, shredded coconut. If you're going to use sweetened shredded coconut, I would probably adjust the sugar immensely or maybe not use any sugar. I don't know if you can do that. So I have two and a half cups of that unsweetened shredded coconut and then also three quarter cups of sugar. To that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla. This is probably the first time ever I've measured out vanilla. We'll just add it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the egg whites. She also said to use your hands to mix, so that's what I'm going to do. And it says to mix well. Use your hands to mix well, completely combining the ingredients. Of course, I have another timer going off. So as I mix with one hand, I'm gonna pull another batch of cookies out with another. Alexa, off. Still mixing. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. I feel like I need a little bit more egg white in this. All right, friends, I'm going for it. I'm actually going to add 
about half of another egg white. And do you see that? I totally just cracked that with one hand. All right, that seems to be coming together way better. I'm gonna show you another one. And she said to keep them about an inch apart. Going to bring together, pinch the top. Together, pinch the top. Well, that looks a mess. I've never made these before. I just saw them, they looked easy and fancy. Bake until golden brown 16 to 17 minutes. I have to let my oven cool a little bit though to 325. Alrighty, so the coconut macaroons are out. I did turn on the broiler for like the last 45 seconds just to get a nicer color on top, but they look really good. The peanut butter cookies are done. The monster cookies are done. We're in a good spot. Now, what I'm attempting is Martha Stewart's homemade graham cracker recipe because I wanna do s'mores and I want them to be a little bit more elevated Christmas Eve for Steven and I. So I'm making my graham crackers from scratch. So in here is seven tablespoons of butter and one cup of light brown sugar and it's been creaming for about three minutes together. So it's getting nice and light and fluffy. I'm actually gonna turn up the, the speed just a little. And then I'm gonna get some whole wheat flour in a mixing bowl with some cinnamon and other things. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. In here I have two cups of whole wheat flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm also going to spray this with some cooking spray, this one third cup, and fill it with honey and then get three tablespoons of milk. And I think that's all I need right now. Oh, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and I'm going to start adding that to this. Sorry for the noise. Oh, this dough came together really nice. All right, I'm supposed to split this into two discs, and then... Wrap them in saran wrap. Okay. And chill for one hour. Also, I totally forgot because I bought this in October, but I have the Nest Holiday Candle. I completely forgot that I bought this monster ages ago. So I think, I really don't wanna switch it out. I'm gonna put it over here for now. We're gonna go ahead and light that bad boy. Oh my goodness, friends. So I did go ahead and roll out the graham cracker I have one batch in the oven. I didn't keep rolling it out and rolling it out. I just tossed out a couple of the scraps of dough. They smell delicious, but they're a little tedious. I also didn't get like a roller out and get super specific. The ones in the oven have about two more minutes left on them. I told Steven, if you ever feel the urge to make your own graham crackers from scratch, don't. Oh. It's from the dollar bin. What? It's from the dollar bin. Wow. He hides my gifts in the basement. Also, speaking of gifts, oh my goodness, you guys should never send anything. But, Diane, thank you so much. I actually have had this in my Amazon cart multiple times and I never pulled the trigger on it. So thank you. Also, someone sent this little espresso mug. Be silly, be honest, be kind. I got a bunch of cards. They're so beautiful. I love when you guys send me your family card. It makes me feel so lucky to have you all my life. This one with the stockings that are hanging. They're all so beautiful. I mean, they mean the world to me. 
And like I said, I still have every card. And then there were two packages, but I won't open anything until Christmas Day. I'm actually saving everything for Christmas Day. The graham crackers are done. I tried to pair some of them up with the ones closest to their size. Luckily, for a s'mores night, if we each eat one s'more, I mean, that's about it. So I made enough. I could have gotten a ruler, made them perfect, but I just wasn't gonna bother. So we got the monster cookies, the graham crackers, the peanut butter cookies, and the coconut macaroons. I'm gonna hold off on the pumpkin roll until tomorrow because I'm like baked out. Plus, I finally have everything cleaned up. Steven said these are delicious. So my friends at Kit Life sent me something. They have taken such great care of me over the years. They backed the channel when I had no one and they've just been so amazing. And I mean, look at the packaging of this gift. Also, this will go with next year's theme. Like I said, every package I'm waiting until Christmas morning to open, which is going to make a lot to open. And then Jen, my good friend Jen Ross, she sent me something too. She spoiled me. Um, I actually have something for her, but I'm waiting for something from Pottery Barn to arrive before I can send it out. So hers is probably going to get to her. Well, I know it's going to get to her after Christmas. But Pottery Barn, I'm struggling with one of the items that I actually bought for two people. And I can't share here because then they'll know what it is. But I'm struggling. They had a specific collection come out. And it has been very hard to get one of the items here. Baking totally wore me out. I totally took a nap for like 45 minutes. I did arrange the cookies in the jars with the black lids. They look so good. Well, this one might need to get hit with a little bit of paint again. I look like I've been crying, but I've actually just gotten off the phone with my friend Rebecca. Um, <laughs> she was checking in on my baking event because she's such a good baker. And I was like, I am so tired from baking. And she's like, welcome to my life. Now you know why I take naps. But honestly, we were talking about <laughs> a story at a trampoline park. And we were both laughing so hard. We have like tears streaming down our faces. It was like such a good afternoon laugh. I'm going to do the pumpkin roll tomorrow because I've done so much baking today. And I just kind of want to get the kitchen cleaned up. For dinner, I think I'm going to make some chicken noodle soup. But... Alright. I got the kitchen all cleaned up, everything dried, put away. And then... I'll mess it all up again to make some soup. In the meantime, I am just going to crash here on the couch and relax. So we are cooking again. I have celery, carrots, uh, two like relatively good sized shallots. Now one secret or thing that I, not secret, but something I love to add that I think makes a huge difference to chicken noodle soup second is I put in the entire zest of one lemon with my celery and carrots and onion and then I will juice this entire lemon right before serving I think lemon brightens chicken noodle soup and really takes it to the next level I also like to serve lemon wedges when I'm hosting people and I make this. It also makes it feel fancier with like a really good bread. My one friend, Laura, is the only other person I know who thinks it's very important to have lemon with your chicken noodle soup. All right, we will juice this at the end. All right, soup is going. I'm not gonna make a ton because we don't need to have a bunch. There's gonna be so much cooking happening this week. Just gonna let this go for a little bit and then throw the chicken in, heat that up, and then the noodles, which I should grab from the pantry. I also am going to attempt my mom's stuffing again, so I have bread pulled apart for stuffing Christmas Day. And he smells the bowl of bread and that's all he wants. Yep, yep. 
I'm feeling like domestic dynamite today. Cleaning, baking, cooking dinner, all the things. All right. Gonna let that go, throw in the chicken, heat it up, throw in the noodles, hit it with that lemon at the end. Dinner is done. I don't think I was filming just now when I opened, but we got a candy cane and a goat milk lotion. And now we have White Company. And we have here a Lime and Bay hand cream. These are gonna be so handy when we start traveling again. What? What? Do you want your advent calendar? Do you want your advent calendar? Do you want it? Do you want your advent calendar? Do you want yours? All right, let's get yours. Come on. Is this what you want? Do you want yours? Do you want yours? Do you want yours? Is this what you want? Okay. Of course, I just cleaned the floors. You have to do like 83. <laughs> hey! Let's go look at that bread bowl. Pour some sugar on me. Ooh. <laughs> these don't look that appetizing. <laughs> no. Oh, these are s'mores. They're covered in graham crackers. Oh. <gasps> it's a big sugar cookie with a candy cane painted. Delicious. Come open your teas. You haven't opened it since day 18. Day Seven. 16 isn't even oh, open. Right. So 16. The tea calendar has been a flop this year. Yeah, we, we've uh, not been <laughs> keeping up with it. It's yours, it's not mine to keep up with. Well, I don't, you film. I'm not gonna grab your camera and film these things when it's not my business. Forever Frosty. I don't know what that, that is. 17. That's your heart, Forever Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> Organic David's Breakfast Blend. Oh, this must be a black tea. Okay, 18. Blood Orange Boost. Ooh, I like that. 19. I don't think there is a pattern here. Um, peanut Butter Cup. Yeah. 20. Winter Earl Grey. Earl Grey, hot. It's a Star Trek reference. Which Pe wasn't funny and just shows your age. Frosty. Why would you have cold Earl Grey tea though? I, I don't understand. Um, all right. Pama Grateful. Well, this must have pomegranates. So. All right, so six of them. So we have 22, 23, and 24. I can't believe it's almost over. I don't know where 25 is. I don't think there is one. Oh. Well, it's 24 days of tea. Right. <laughs> well. There isn't a 25. If they, if you had one, it was a packaging error. Bubby had his advent calendar. You've done yours. Let's do our gratitudes and then we can get ready for dinner. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful I got to leave the house and go to the store today. I'm grateful that I was able to bake goodies for you to enjoy. I'm grateful for my gold medals in Sarajevo, Nagano. Oh no, Nagano. Pyeongchang, Lake it. Placid, and Lillehammer. What, you're missing the whole from 1998 to 2000? That's when I did the Summer Olympics. So there's 20 years. You took 20 years off your ice skating career. To do the Summer Olympics. Uh, and your synchronized swimming career. Yes. Even though you hate water. That's why I was so good, I floated. He is a little wound up right now. There's a bowl of chicken and a bowl of bread. Speaking of the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my soup. Allow that to get heating up. And I'm just gonna throw in some noodles as well. Just gonna let that go now. Just gonna hit this with the juice of these two lemons. Two, uh, not two lemons. 
just one lemon, the lemon I dusted earlier. I just turned the heat down. Okay. Dinner is ready for today. All right, my sweet and beautiful friends, I hope you enjoyed just baking and cooking with me today. I linked some of the recipes down below and the graham cracker recipe and the macaroon recipe. The others are just that mix and I doctored it up a little bit. Tomorrow we are going to attack my grandmother's pumpkin roll, maybe some decorating funness and see what else the day brings us, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was low key, it was simple, and it was fun. And I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow, my friends. Bye bye